Now then, Mackie69 here. Oh, we get diddling. We fucking won. Three points, man. Can't remember the last time Borough fucking won. Jesus Christ. And again, Sheffield United as well. For me, they've always been like fucking bogey team of ours. I was dreading when I saw that fucking Billy Sharp still plays for them. That bastard usually always scores against us all the time. But what can I say? Three points, man. We're one point behind where I thought we'd be. I thought we'd get a point from the last match and fully expected us to win today. Thought we'd be up at half time, which we were. First 10 minutes were fucking woeful. I just thought, same old shit, but I passed to. <laughs> Back to the centre backs who passed the midfield to pass to the centre backs, the same old shit. They looked a bit dangerous. And uh, fucking it was just shit man. But then Big Rudy gets his header, which that's the kind of goal I expect him to score. I expect him to score over ten goals, ten, fifteen goals. More, mainly with his fucking head. Um but yeah, it was a good it was a good finish in my opinion. But um We finished the first half strongly on on the back of our performance in the first half if we came out like that in the second half we would have battered them 3-0 that would have been my, that was my prediction because we finished the first half dead strong and I fully expect us to come out like that and fucking batter them just go for it go for it go for it instead we did what we used to do under Karanka defend the lead which fair one it paid off but it very very nearly didn't because that goal was not offside. Free kick in, and it was an old goal um, by Fry, but it wasn't offside there. Nah. So there should have had a goal, so it should have finished one all, really. But how many times have we been fucked over with things like that? I'm not going to fucking moan about it, but I'm just saying it was lucky. You know what I mean? So, fair one. A few standout players for me. Um, Fry, I was fucking buzzing to see him. Um, play. I was buzzing to see him on on the on the team sheet before, and good player. And I'd rather have him than Ayala. To be fair, I hope Ayala doesn't get his his place back. He hope to start with Fry all the time. And Christie, right back, he was fucking class. I don't think he put one foot wrong. And um, Bamford again, two games in a row, man. He's been fucking superb. I felt like I say. If we carried on attacking like we were in the first half, I fancied him to get a goal at least, um, maybe two, but he, he he was good anyway. George Friend, uh, I don't know what to do with him, man. He just gets caught with position, but he goes forward well. As long as someone's covering, it's not too bad, but it's not all the time someone's covering. And um, Clayton again, man. Someone was saying that he got man of the match on Sky, and I don't really know how. If, unless they do it on touches, which 80-90% of his touches are passing the back to Ben Gibson anyway. But let's fucking celebrate while we can. It's been, like I say, it's been fucking ages since we won, so let's go out and party and celebrate this fucking... Because who knows when we're going to get the next one. And the fucking goal, a win and a goal. Fuck me. See, we don't need Ramirez. We don't, mind you... We still only got two shots on goal, two shots on target. Sorry, two. That's not going to get you promoted. That that is not going to get you promoted. That's what our problem was last year. Why can't we just fucking shoot? Fuck's sake. Anyway, I, I don't want to put too much of a downer on it because we fucking won. Up and I yeah, there was trouble after the match as well. The scummy fucking Sheffield United fans starting. I know a few people have got a few bats. Dirty, dirty fucking Yorkshire bastards. Fuck off. Maybe get relegated to Afghans. Up the borough!